Here it is Thursday. I'd like to give you the security of a promise from the word of God today. 1 John 2, 25. And this is a promise which he himself made to us, eternal life. What a great way to start our midweek daily. A promise that moves us from hoping to knowing where we will spend eternity. To resting in the security of the believer. And the understanding that God says what he means and means what he says. John reminds us that God in Christ makes us a promise that when we have him as our safety net, we'll never be let down. When we have him as not only our safety net, but our initial net, if you will, that he's not second or third. He's not a safety net. He is the whole thing. I have had folks tell me that if they have a safety net, we will not have a fear factor to make us live right. And you know what? It's not, it's not a fear factor of if you mess up, he's going to catch you all the time. He's in you every move you make. He is the first resort, not the last resort. And so we see that we, even when we do mess up, he's not going to wait and let us fall for a while and catch us. He's going to hold us close, and he's going to keep us from even making that initial step in falling because he is going to keep us close to him. He's not just our safety net. He is our uh, safety to start out with, our safety that holds us close, not a second net or not in case we mess up. He is there for us to keep us from messing up with his fellowship, with his guidance, with his word. I have folks once again tell me that if they had a safety net, then they will not have the motive to live right. If you think you can never lose your salvation, what is the motivation to live right? Your motivation is gratitude and an understanding and a relationship with Jesus Christ. That you understand and I understand that we're walking in step, not, not waiting. and He's not waiting to catch us when we fall. He is walking with us to keep us on the straight and narrow, to keep us from falling. Yes, he's there when we do fall. Yes, he is our net when we do fall. But we don't use him as a, lot, as a free pass into heaven. We use his relationship with us, not only from to get into heaven, but to get to that place we call heaven. My question to you if you are saved is not if you're going to heaven. My question to you is, what are you going to accomplish before you go to heaven in your relationship with Jesus and your walk with him? I do not do the right things because of the fear factor. I do them out of the love factor. I love Jesus, so I want to do what's right. Adrian Rogers tells a great historical uh, fact that helps us with uh, uh, what we're looking at. In 1937, as the Golden Gate Bridge began to rise hundreds of feet above the icy, swirling waters of San Francisco Bay, the workmen were afraid for their lives. Some of them fell and drowned, 23 in all. So management decided to build a safety net beneath the workers at a cost of $100,000, but it ended up being a great saving because the work went 25% faster and only 10 more fell from the bridge, each of them into the safety net. You see, Jesus is not just our safety net. He is our holder. He is the one that not just catches us, but holds us. You see, when you're being held, you're not being let go of and then caught. You're held all the time, all the way. But because we've got Jesus, we can concentrate on doing what is right today. And we can concentrate on the work he's got for us. Why these people work with so much more productivity? Because of their security. And that's the way it is in the Christian life. You've got the security of not a safety net, but the security of the Christ in God who's holding you close to him. He's holding you now. Do what he would have you to do in the way he would have you to do it. Because even though nobody else is watching you, Christian, he's watching you. Maybe you're a Christian who has been in doubt. Stop it. He's holding you now. He's not waiting for you to fall to catch you. He's holding you before you fall. Your gracious Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for bringing us to this time and place, and thank you for the promise of your word. In Jesus' name we pray.